Okay, here's another quick video that we thought we would show you because Haley and I are getting these uh, raised beds ready to put our drip irrigation on and um, plastic. And we're going to plant our eggplant and uh, Dominican tomatoes through here. So Haley has got the bed completely wet down. It's um, filled with compost and topsoil. Uh, the manure, fish meal, and it's all nicely wet down and we will get to showing you how exactly we do this. We did, um, we did one before but it was not really showing. It was already done when we showed you so this way you'll get the complete, the complete way to do it. So let's get to it. Okay, so this is, um, we left one bed actually without the fish meal or watering just to show you. So this is just our um, compost topsoil and uh, we topped it up every year. We put new soil in the beds and then Haley just sprinkles the uh, organic fish meal on top and then we water it. So we, you put a good amount of fish meal. The fish meal won't hurt anything. The fish meal is actually very, very good. And then we just work it through. You can use whatever you want. This is just what we do. But this is just to give you an idea of how we do this. So, and then we'll get this done, water it down, and then we will start running the drip and um, connecting it to the headers at the back of the greenhouse. Okay, we're just gonna finish off this roll of uh, drip tape. So this comes in a huge, huge roll. We order all of this stuff through um, Dubois. Dubois Irrigation. Uh, they're in, it, that's we're in Canada so we order from uh, Leamington Ontario or Quebec they have um, places in both areas so this is what we do we're just gonna roll it out we have put our connector on here which we will show you these connectors um, they're excellent they just screw onto the drip hose there's a little nozzle here that put the drip hose fits into or onto it and then you screw this blue thing down and it holds it in place so it won't pop off. So Haley's just running the drip tape to the other end. This drip tape already has little holes in it so you don't have to do anything but roll it out. So we will, uh, once she's done unrolling it, we'll show you how we connect it to this uh, header. So I'll just move this. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, at the end. So what we do is you just cut when you're finished uh, your length, cut it to length, and we take some electrical tape, fold the drip tape over, and we take the electrical tape. It's We don't have our tripod, so I'm going to let Haley do it all. <laughs> and we just tape that really well so the water doesn't seep out. So it's pinched off, and that part will lay at this end. <clears throat> and... Uh, you do like a double, maybe? You can do a double. You can do whatever you'd like. Haley, Haley. There. So, there you go. And then that just lays there and no water will seep out of the end. Hopefully. No, it won't. So, let's go down to that end and we'll show you how we connect it to the header. Don't. <laughs> oh, I just about caught her, guys. <laughs> so this is the tool we use to poke through um, the main hose. So Haley will show you. She just takes about here. Yep. Okay. Wherever wherever you want to put it in, and it just pops. Or yeah, it might squirt out. It might squirt. It's so we don't want to right? get my camera. Huh? It's off though, right? At the other yep. end. Yeah. Yeah, it's off. Oh my god, is that through? Right. Yeah. Oh, ooh, look at that. And then that part pushes through. <laughs> it's hard to get here. Oh my gosh. There, and that just pops in. It's hard to get in. So you know when you're having trouble putting it into the hole, it's gonna stay in nice and tight. There we go. And I guess we should turn that on to make sure it works and yep. doesn't leak. Sure. So she'll turn it on and then we'll see. <clears throat> Ready? Yep. 
there we go and you can see it filling up with water you can hear it look at that and there we go yeah watch it go it's just like a snake hail yeah? doesn't really matter it's gonna drip out anyhow so there we have got it going dang we good okay so we're gonna start laying our plastic and we'll show you what we do to uh, secure that to the raised bed something else I wanted to show you um, on this header because when we run all uh, seven beds together uh, the water pressure isn't as uh, as good so we have two um, I call them toggles I don't know what you call them uh, on each side I'm gonna shut this one off actually that's and then we can run um, half the greenhouse at one time and shut the other half off so we have the water pressure so that's a good idea too if you have that many beds going um, and just so you know this is greenhouse number four so we are going to get going on our plastic and we will show you in just a sec. So this is our roll of um, plastic mulch that we also purchased through Dubois. And again, you can source it out from anyone in your uh, country, area, whatever. We get it uh, through Dubois every, Dubois irrigation all the time. They're great to deal with. So if you can, by all means do. But so we're going to roll this out the full length of this bed and then we're going to start uh, securing it to the raised bed okay so we have figured out with practice that if we staple the first corners then the plastic doesn't fly away when we cut it off and it's a little easier to manage so and instead of using wood we were using uh, little pieces of plywood and screws this is much easier an old piece of cardboard and a staple gun and we just Make this like that. Put a couple of staples in. On the corners, I'm going to do more, um, a few more. I do about three just because I really want it secure. And Or on the side. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to do this on the and side. Then, and hold it tight because the plastic will blow up yeah. over the plants. And we have figured the we side. Figured it out. We figured it out. So that works. There a lot we better. go. And so we're going to completely unroll. Actually, Haley, maybe you can show them if you can get it rolling. There. And we just roll out like that. And you don't want to worry about it being uh, off center right now. And you want to leave a little bit more length at the end. So we will just continue doing this and uh, get it all secured with the cardboard down the side, which we'll show you in just a second. Okay, so we are almost at the end and Patty's just finishing up the last couple of boxes. So what we've done as well is um, we've show gone to every, on that side. every um, brace, I guess you would call it, for the raised bed and that's where we've stapled. <clears throat> but down here, so when you have your plastic, always fold it. This is something else we learned too because it, oh, no, I messed that up. Um, we fold the plastic under and kind of make a hem and then put our little scab on. We call them scabs. Scabs. We also call them scabs. And uh, this one I'm just going to pull up. No, actually, that'll be fine. Okay, I messed up, Haley. That's okay. And uh, that way it stays nice and uh, tight, and you don't have that excess plastic flopping, flopping around. around. So we will go to, okay, right here because we're close to the end, I'm just going to do this one. And I'm not gonna use, I'm not gonna do it on the uh, brace. I'm just gonna do it right there. And you don't need thick cardboard or anything, just scraps that you have laying around, so. Box, uh, just so the staple doesn't rip through yeah. the plastic. Yeah, actually, we should. Have, I should have explained that. <clears throat> and come fall cleanup, it's not so hard to. You're not going around with a drill, unscrewing all the screws on the plywood. You're just ripping the plastic up, and uh, and that's it. Now, see where this piece is flopping. I would go back. 
and put another piece in here because it'll just keep moving around if we don't. So there we go. <clears throat> and then we're going to do the end and that's it. Then we're going to start pl uh, planting our eggplant <clears throat> and uh, Dominican. Dominican. So, and you want to make sure that you leave excess here and just fold that under. And then I'm just going to go to the edge there. And our drip tape is kind of up a little bit. I'm going to put another one up a bit, but we're not going to have anything planted directly on this anyhow. And that's it. As easy as that. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. There. Ta da. Look at Whole bed done. All Not by ourselves. A whole Eight minutes. Yeah. Now so, we're ready to plant. Yeah. So we gotta Good. poke holes. Put our yeah. plant so, starter. Put our plant starter. Yeah, we'll show them. We'll okay. show them. Come along with us. So okay, so we're gonna start with our eggplant first. Our eggplant is going to be, we're going to do about 18 inches, so we've got our stick, and I'm going to start my first hole, this is all we do, first hole there, and then we do 18 inch centers, which works really fast and quick, and we do not stagger in these raised beds, because they'll just be up against the, uh, so just a single row, yeah, just a single row, <clears throat> it's too hard for harvesting when you when you um, stagger them up against the wall anyhow, and they start going out to roll up and it's just a mess. So we'll just continue on with this and then we will show you what we put in each hole when we plant. Okay, so I'm going to go behind Patty. She's making the holes. And this is just a starter food we use from Organic. Um, this is leftover stuff we had from last year, so we're just trying to use it up. Um, you can get a different starter food, so this just helps for transplanting to get the roots established. Um, this also makes, uh, the company makes a tomato and veg brand, which is really good for like vegetable plants. Um, so we just pop it in the hole, mix it in with the dirt, and we do that for each one, and then we pop our plants in. We don't really have measurements, because it doesn't, uh, it's organic, so it doesn't burn the roots, and you can overfeed, and it's not gonna hurt regardless. So that is what we do there. You just spread the plastic, pop a handful in, kind of mix it in, and then when you go to put your plant in and cover it up, it's in at the root base, and when the water hits it, it seeps into the soil, and the plants can drink it up and be nice and healthy. And I think Patty's done, so we will show you the planting process. And something else we do um, after I go around with the stick, Haley is uh, going through and fertilizing each hole with the uh, plant starter. But we always open the holes up bigger. Oops, sorry. Um, open the holes up bigger because you don't want that little tiny stick end hole in there. You want uh, a nice opening so the plant can grow. So now we're going to get started with our eggplant, which are small and uh, they're starting to yellow. They need out of these little four cells and into the bed. So we will get on with this. Okay, so we are done. That and, didn't take uh, too long. No, and then when they start growing, we will show you how we string these guys as well. We do a lot of stringing. We do a lot of <laughs> stringing. Um, but these are, now they're gonna have a chance to grow and yeah. uh, be healthy. Grow babies, grow. So we hope that, uh, helped you out and you can do your own raised bed. Yeah. And, and, that, and we can do did outside uh, too, right? You can do it outside, you can use whatever scrap wood you have, you can do whatever you'd like. This is just what we've done. So use your imagination and get growing. Bye! Bye.